Mad respect for Alderwood Community Church in Linwood right now as they deal with an important issue that affects their church family and the city they worship in. And in the midst of all of this, they are doing their very best to honor God. Pastor Wyatt joins us this morning to talk about this. Welcome back to Spirit 105.3. I watched your video on Instagram and I'm so impressed with how you all are handling this. Would you share what's going on? Yeah, we're uh, located right in the heart of Linwood, which is an exciting opportunity of where God has us just because we see Linwood growing up around us. And we're looking forward to the opportunities to represent Jesus right in the heart of this city with apartments around us, with low-income housing, with you know senior facilities and multilingual communities all around us. And we think that God has us here strategically. And Light Rail is coming up uh, in the next decade through this area, connecting what they've already done in the Northgate area through to Everett. And we've known that for some time. And we're actually excited about it because we think it's going to connect more people to the gospel through our church. But we learned last week that the specific plans that Sound Transit has right now for Light Rail would actually include taking our church property, both of our buildings and the entire property, and they would compensate us for that at market value, but it would mean us relocating. And that's not something that we want to do. We really feel like God has us here for a reason, and he's got a future for our church right in the heart of Linwood. And so we are hoping to work with Sound Transit to ask them to change their plans and to work together so that we can both accomplish what we're trying to accomplish here. It's so hard when you're in a sticky situation like this because you know that the church is good for the community, but you want to communicate that message in a very winsome way. So how are you all going about this? And I love your heart to do this, by the way. Yeah, I mean, as we've thought about how to represent Jesus in this, you know, one of our fears is that we would actually be successful in keeping our property, but in so doing, we would tarnish the reputation of Jesus by being angry, by being seen as people who care more about our own interests than we do about our community. And really, it's the opposite of that. We want to stay because we love this city, and as much as we care about our buildings, we care far more about how people see Jesus here than keeping our property. And so, We're going to speak up and we're going to represent ourselves as best as we can and talk about why it's so valuable for our church to be where it is. But we're going to do everything we can to communicate that in love, to be respectful and honoring of the officials that are involved in this as well. They're not the enemy. They're doing their job as well. And so we want to make sure that we honor Jesus in the midst of that. It's crazy because some really good good can come out of this if everybody comes to the table politely and kindly, just like you're doing. And that really inspires me. Wyatt, I wanted to ask you about the Compassion Center because that is one of the properties that would be affected, right? It is, yeah. A couple years ago, we started the Compassion Center, and that's a property right adjacent to our church building where we have a number of programs to serve our community. The main one is a feeding program where we give food assistance to about 150 families each week that are in need, and you don't have to be a part of our church to receive this. This is for the community, and we really have loved getting to build these relationships with our neighbors. We're also doing tutoring and homework help for kids in our local elementary school, and it's one of the poorest elementary schools in the Edmond School District, and a lot of families that don't speak English as a first language, and so we're also doing some work with parents and ESL and those kind of things or programs that we're in the works developing, and so there's a lot going on here for our community, and it's just beginning. It's growing and it's exciting to think about what that might be in the future. But it's also part of the reason why it's so important for us to stay where we are. Wyatt, I'm so curious as to how you're praying, maybe in your own heart, because obviously God will still use you and your church. He can provide more property. But what comes to mind for me is the prayer that never fails, God, your will be done. Like what's going on in your heart? Because there are people listening right now who are going, man, I feel like I'm in a situation like this. I just want God to decide. Yeah, and I think exactly what you said, Lord, your will be done. I think we've been really asking the Lord explicitly that he would give us favor with these officials, that he would allow us to keep our property. But every time we pray that, at least as I'm leading our our staff and our church in prayer, we're also praying, Lord, we want your kingdom to be here more than anything. We want to be used by you for Jesus' purposes. And so we're willing to follow you where you lead. And if that's not what we think, if that's not being here, that's not the plans that we've been laying, then we're okay with that. But we also know what we want. We're going to ask for it. And we know that you love to give good gifts to your children who ask. And so 
we're trying to kind of do both of those things at the same time, not hold so tightly to what we have right now that we're missing something that God wants to do, but also to be honest and to ask for what we want. Amazing. Pastor Wyatt from Alderwood Community Church. I'm going to be praying God's will over this myself. Thank you for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks very much.